بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أفضل الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Participants السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is a great honor and privilege to participate in this Eighth World Government Summit at the invitation of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. I would like to congratulate His Highness and the UAE government on convening this exceptional global event, which coincides this year with another, no less successful event, Expo 2020 in this metropolitan city. For the last 45 years, the Islamic Development Bank has had a solid track record of serving its 57 member countries, spanning four continents, Africa, Asia, Europe, and Latin America. We support the socio-economic development of our member countries and improve the quality of life for around 1.8 billion people worldwide or one out of every five citizens of the world. All our member countries are developing countries, while about 21 of our 57 members are classified as least developed countries. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth industrial revolution is reshaping our world. Digital technologies and new tools have opened new vistas for economic and social development. Because of its exp exponen exponential contributions to productivity and efficiency, the world has experienced an accelerating transition towards a, dig a digital economy. Here, ICTs play an increasing role in producing, consuming, and exchanging goods and services. This has undoubtedly broadened the spectrum of opportunities and potential for human advancement by fostering ever higher productivity and innovation. Amid the challenges brought about by the ongoing global pandemic, our role as a development bank has become more crucial than ever. While the supply chain, uh, while the supply chain in transportation and trade was stalled in various parts of the world, reinventions of people's living never stopped. It was through the digital transformation that many people sustained in their social, professional lives in the middle of stringent lockdowns. Indeed, digital transformation was already underway, even before the pandemic and the lockdowns that forced people to work remotely. The pandemic has underlined the crucial role of digital technologies in keeping economies and societies afloat. They greatly helped maintain business continuity, supported students in education, and provided access to certain health services through tel telehealth. This was not only present in private transactions, but also in public service delivery, allowing for the streamlining of e-government. Although the pandemic has challenged humanity in many ways, it has also paved the way for a digital transformation that serves the socioeconomic needs of the broad population. A favorable opportunity stemming from the challenges is that, is that communications, trade, services, and many economic activities have increasingly moved online, thereby facilitating access. World governments can lead by accelerating the mainstreaming of technologies, such as network sensors, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, machine learning, data analytics, real-time decision-making, and transactive, transactive energy systems for efficient public service delivery. Ladies and gentlemen, since its inception in 1975, the Islamic Development Bank has supported digital transformation. It has been supporting the ICT sector through standalone ICT projects and as a supplement in other sectors such as education, health, and agriculture for various operations. 
The IDB has strategically posi posi positioned itself to serve its member countries for post-COVID-19 recovery, driving green economic growth, tackling poverty, and building resilience. Since digital transformation is considered an integral part of this new strategic orientation, we strive to leverage technology tools to build a future that promotes connectivity, competitiveness, and innovation in our member states. It goes without saying that we cannot do it alone. A coalition of the brave will have to be formed to bring about such transformation. Distinguished delegates, over one billion new internet users have been added globally during the last five years. Yet close to half the world's population, over 3.7 billion, does not have access to the internet. While nearly 87% of people in developed countries use the internet, only 44% in developing countries have access, and the situation is even worse in the least developed countries. According to a study conducted by the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU, an estimated $428 billion is needed to connect the remaining offline population to the internet by 2030. The digital divide is also within countries. While a mobile broadband network covers virtually almost all urban areas globally, worrying gaps in connectivity and internet access persists in rural areas. Globally, 72% of households in urban areas have access to the internet at home, almost twice as much as in rural areas. However, with many essential services pushed online during the COVID-19 pandemic, a threat remains that those without broadband internet access could be left behind in terms of economic and social development. Moreover, despite some availability, mobile telephony and internet access remains unaffordable for many people in the least developed countries, particularly, particularly in rural areas. <clears throat> As to affordability, the Islamic Development Bank member countries are not performing well against their peers regarding access to the internet, digital literacy, and local digital content. For example, the Economist Intelligence Unit reported uh, uh, in its inclusive internet index that, the, that only five of the Islamic Development Bank member countries are in the top 50 list of best performers. Ladies and gentlemen, the existing digital divide poses a high risk to economic recovery and stability. At the Islamic Development Bank, we are very alarmed by the serious lag many of our members in bridging the digital gap. Hence, the Islamic Development Bank is ready to work with governments, MDBs, other international institutions, and development partners on initiatives related to the, global, to the digital economy and to ensure reliable internet services by developing the needed infrastructure for its member states. It is also essential to exchange ICT-based solutions and knowledge to address developmental challenges across countries. The IDB will also continue to support cross-border regulatory harmonization, which is vital for making full use of opportunities such as e-commerce while dealing with potential cybersecurity problems. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by being a bit audacious. I will claim that bridging the digital divide can help humanity reap the following benefits. First, creating quality jobs for youth and women. Second, expanding educational opportunities through e-education and e-learning. Third, allowing e-health to be provided to larger segments of the population without the need to travel and at a fraction of the cost. Fourth, enhancing the efficiency of world governments through e-government services, thus reducing trips to government offices. Fifth, 
strengthening e-commerce within and cross borders. Sixth, enabling micro and small and medium enterprises to expand their reach through the expansion of e-finance and fintech. Seventh, capitalizing on the, de on the demographic dividend of a large youthful population by creating a large ICT service industry. Eighth, narrowing the knowledge gap intranationally and internationally, thus reducing the income gap, which is stifling development in many of our member countries. I warned you, it is audacious, but with reflection, these benefits are within reach if we put our hearts and minds into them. So let us at least try. Ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to reiterate my thanks and gratitude to His Highness and the esteemed government of the United Arab Emirates for their outstanding efforts to organize such an august forum to exchange creative ideas and innovative solutions to meet the challenges facing governments in their quest to achieve inclusive and sustainable development. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.